In this video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to improve your web core vitals for your page speed insight scores. The top one over here is before the improvement and the bottom one is after the improvement. And this video is going to walk you through how I did that and then you'll know how to do it for yourself and for your clients. For website performance, your host is one of the most important factors. You can think of hosts like cars. So you have um, a sports car and a Formula One car. It doesn't matter how you tweak and optimize the sports car. It doesn't matter what tires you put in it, what fuel you put in it, doesn't matter what engine you drop in there. It's not going to beat a tuned Formula One car. WordPress hosts the same way. There's sports cars and there's Formula One cars. There's even rundown VW vans in the world of WordPress hosting, those you want to avoid. But the, the sports cars and the Formula One cars, they're pretty easy to find, but you also pay more for them. And so they're more premium hosts, but along with faster servers and faster websites. They provide better security, things like server-side caching, staging sites, better support where the support actually helps you fix problems. The lower tier hosts can't afford to pay that kind of support level. And so you don't get that kind of support. You got to do it all yourself. So premium hosts are definitely worth the investment, but they do cost a little more. And if you're looking to improve web core vitals, you should look up what they mean. This blog post on SEMrush gives you a quick overview of what all the major ones mean. The LCP, the FID, and the CLS, these are all metrics that the Google Page Speed test gives us. The largest content full paint is basically the time it takes the main content of the page to appear. And you want that to be under 2.5 seconds. The first input delay is the time to when your page is interactive, when someone who visits your page can actually be using it and interacting with it. This one should be under 100 milliseconds. And often JavaScript slows down the first input delay and delaying JavaScript can help you speed that up. The cumulative layout shift measures how much a page shifts during loading. So for example, you have a button load at the top or right here, for example, but then something else loads above it, moving the button down. And Google measures that shift. You're supposed to have 0.1 or less of cumulative layout shift. So that's not seconds, that's some sort of measurement that Google uses. When you have layout shifting, this is where it's measured. And you also have what's called time to first byte. That is the time it takes for Google to, or a visitor, to visit your site. Your site contacts the server, the server sends back the first byte of information. So time to first byte is how long that interaction takes. And it's supposed to be less than 200 milliseconds, I believe. And believe it or not, the host that you choose affects every single one of those. And the point of this video is to show you the effect of hosts on your page speed. The first result that we saw earlier, that was my site hosted on SiteGround. And the second result was the exact same site migrated to Cloudways, and it shows the speed on Cloudways. You can tell there's quite a bit of a difference. And I'm gonna quickly show you how easy it is to migrate a site to Cloudways. It's going to be this site here. This is currently hosted on SiteGround. You can see it right here in my domain list on SiteGround. And to migrate it to Cloudways, all we have to do is create a server on Cloudways, install an application, and then use the migration plugin. Or you can also contact Cloudways support, and they can do it for you for free, included with your account. I'll tell you more about this later in the video, but I just want to let you know that I have a Skookum discount for you if you want to sign up for Cloudways. It's 25% off any time of the year for the first three months that you subscribe to Cloudways. And I'll just show you really quick how you can enter the coupon code into the order form, but I'll give you more details at the end of the video. All you do is you type in here WP Lab 25, yellow check mark there because that's also a valid coupon. That'll give you 25% off for the first three months here with Cloudways. Once you have your Cloudways account, you'll log in and it'll look something like this. To create a server and add WordPress to it is really simple. All you do is you log in. This is the main dashboard after you have your Cloudways account. Click on Add Application, select your application. I'm going to choose WordPress because the site we're migrating is just a plain WordPress site. If this was a WooCommerce site, I might choose WooCommerce, although it doesn't really matter because it's going to delete everything anyway. So I just choose WordPress no matter what. I'm going to give it the name WP Speedify. I'm going to give it its own dedicated server because it's got to be speedy because it's that's the whole point of WP Speedify. We can choose our servers from DigitalOcean. Amazon AWS and Google. This is different than most hosts you've probably encountered. Most hosts just, they just have their servers and you just pick one of the, the tiers, one of the plans. Here, you can choose where to get your servers from and they cost different amounts. You can see the price down here at the bottom. As we scale up from two gigabytes to 192, you can see it gets quite expensive. But if you have a website that requires 192 gigabytes. I believe this is bandwidth. It's RAM. But you also see on this little drop down here, you get more processors and more terabytes of transfer the higher you go. So if you need the highest level server, you're probably making money. That's the bottom line. And then you need that server because you have so much traffic. But to start out, 
two gigabytes is more than enough for a site with very low traffic. This costs 24 a month. If you go with Amazon AWS, go with small, two gigabytes. I keep all the rest as it is. Let's move it from medium to small. It's 38 a month, so much more expensive than DigitalOcean. And you go with Google, move it to small, 37 a month. So the best deal for the resources you get is DigitalOcean. Choose your location, which is just where your server is located, which should be where most of your traffic comes from. And there's a bunch of choices here from covering uh, most of the planet in, in some degree. Click on launch now to get started. And if you refer friends, you get hosting credits. So that's pretty slick. I'm gonna skip that for now. Our server is being added. Should take approximately seven minutes. And the server I chose was a premium one because WP Speedify needs to be speedy, right? If I go back to where the servers were, so down here, the ones with the little stopwatch, those are premium. So we have two gigabytes with the stopwatch, two gigabytes without the stopwatch. So the two gigabytes with the stopwatch is just a little bit faster. And you'll notice the price doesn't change very much. 24 to 28. And one gigabyte is 14 for the stopwatch. 11 for the non-speedy. Often going from two gigabytes regular to two gigabytes premium might be enough to cover your traffic needs because it's faster hardware. But then if you jump to four gigabytes, it gets quite a bit more expensive. So you can sometimes kick the can down the road, if you will, on, on paying more for hosting because you can upgrade to the more premium ones. There's also an auto scaling feature, but you can auto scale or you can have it auto scale. It's just like how Amazon works when there's crushing traffic on your site, it automatically scales up your resources for the amount of time that you have that traffic. When the traffic dies down again, the resources go down again as well. Your costs also go up as the resources go up and your costs go down again as the resources go down, which is pretty super. Most other hosts, they kind of, they, they have kind of soft limits. You can break the limits that, that are shown on the pricing page, but at some point they're like, listen, you got to upgrade to something higher. You got to pay more per month. And then you're paying that amount whether you're using those resources or not. Whereas with the auto scaling, you only pay for what you use. I'm just going to pause this video while this finishes up and I'll be right back. Okay, our server is created, our application is created. If we click on view all servers, we see it right here. If we click on the WW, it shows us what we have installed, WP Speedify. If we go to applications instead, it shows us the application right here. If we click on this little arrow jumping out of the box here, this shows us the site. We wanna replace this with this site by migrating it over. Next, we wanna install the Cloudways migration plugin on this site, because this is the site we wanna to migrate to Cloudways. This is the manual way of doing it. You can also contact their support and have them help you do it as well. Here in the dashboard, go to plugins and then add new and look up Cloudways Migration or Migratino. Can't find it when you look up Migratino or use Cloudways WordPress Migrator, also works. Click on install now to install it, activate to activate it. Okay, now it's installed. If we scroll down on the left-hand side, we have Cloudways Migrate, click on that. Fill in your email address. Click on this little box here. Click on migrate. Let me fill out the short form and it'll migrate the site for us. So first, where to do you want to migrate your site? Cloudways Flexible, Cloudways Auto Scale. We saw these mentioned earlier. So we have a Cloudways Flexible application. This one here. If you have a Cloudways Auto Scale, you want to choose that from that dropdown. We have a Flexible. Next, the destination site URL. We find that in our Cloudways account. If we click on applications, click on the application you want to migrate two and the application url is this one right here i'm just going to click on this arrow to open the site i copy it from here just to make sure we get the full application url paste that in there the sftp host and server address is the ip we find that right here copy that paste that in there and the database name is right over here click on that to copy it the SFTP username is down here. If you don't have anybody in here, click on add SFTP user, enter a username and password. You just enter whatever you want there and it shows up here. So in my case, I have admin for the username. Click on that to copy it, paste it in there. And the password is right here. Click on that to copy it, paste that in here. HTTP auth enabled, no in my case. HTTP auth is when you go to a website like this, but before the website appears, you have a little password box that appears at the top before you can even access the website. Most people would have that set to no. Any root directories you wanna migrate? No. Any additional database tables? Nope. Is this site password protected? Nope. Choose yes if yes is the correct answer for you. For me, the correct answer was always no. Click on migrate. 
and now it will, it will migrate our website. How long it takes depends on how big the site is and how big the files on that site are. Usually, for most sites, it's done within an hour or way less than that. I'm just gonna fast forward this video while this is working so you can kind of see how long it takes and what it's doing as it's going because it shows us details on this page and I'll see you in a bit. Now if we head out to WP Speedify on Cloudways, which is this one right here, refresh the page, it's right here, I refreshed it off camera by accident, so I missed that recording, but this URL is now showing the exact same website as we had over here. So we've successfully migrated it, now it's time to do some speed tests on the two different sites. So first the results from our SiteGround site, 61 for performance, so not that great. Most of the stats are in the red. There's a lot of issues down here, and these can all be fixed, of course. And desktop, we have 90 for a performance. That's a lot better. That'll be hard to beat for the Cloudway site. If we go to the Cloudway site, we got 95 on mobile. A whole lot better. Barely anything going on for issues down here. And we have 98 for desktop. So that's a whole lot better. And something that happens when you migrate a site to Cloudways, automatically you'll have Breeze installed. And Breeze is Cloudways performance enhancing plugin. And it's pretty good. As you can see, definitely for mobile, the performance increase is major just by moving the site over. That's all we've done is migrate the exact same site over to Cloudways and tested the performance. If we go into our website, this is our Cloudways one. This will now have the same login credentials as your old site that you migrated because the database migrates over as well. If we go down and we go to settings and then Breeze, this is the Breeze plugin and there's a lot of features in here. One of the biggest ones is called Varnish. Varnish is used by most virtual private servers or VPSs around the world because it really enhances their caching abilities. And Varnish is even able to cache based on location around the world. So if you have a website that translates. So if you have um, English version, the Spanish version, Chinese version, it will load a cached version of the correct language to the correct person based on their IP address. So it loads even faster. There's a whole bunch more to know about Varnish. If you want to know more about it, I'll link to this page in the description down below. There's a lot, but if you want to know more about Varnish, you can check it out there. We also have file optimization options. And these ones really help with your core vital scores. Caching does too, obviously, but these ones, you have a little more control over what's going on. Specifically, the JavaScript options. If we scroll down, all the way down, we have the ability to move JavaScript into the footer or defer loading of JavaScript. So if you go to PageSpeed Insights, if you have any render blocking resources, it usually lists them out, and you can copy and paste the URLs right into here, and then you can defer them or move them to the footer. And this means that that JavaScript will not be loading immediately and it won't be getting in the way of your first input delay, which is time to interactivity, and it won't be render blocking. And so you can make your sites load faster quite often, but you also wanna make sure that you test your site after you save these changes because moving JavaScript can break your site. So you wanna make sure that you're not breaking your site to optimize it, that kind of defeats the purpose. On this page, we also have the ability to minify HTML and minify CSS and do a bunch more with CSS as well, like combining it, excluding certain CSS that we don't feel like we need, and that requires a lot of testing as well. You gotta save it, test your site to see if it works, preferably in a new browser with a cleared cache just to make sure everything works. And minifying just reduces file size. The smaller the file size is that needs to be loaded, the faster it's gonna load. We also have under basic options. Something that's really important is lazy loading images. If you have an image that appears below the browser view, that will not be loaded immediately if this is turned on. It will only load as the user scrolls down. If you have this turned off, it's going to load whether the user scrolls down or not. And that loads or that slows down your load time of your website. Breeze also lets us connect to CDNs. One of the most powerful CDNs is Cloudflare's enterprise CDN. And you have access to that in your Cloudways account. If you go back to your Cloudways account and go down to Cloudflare, we see Cloudflare Enterprise right here. This is their CDN right here. There's also a lot of other features that come with Cloudflare Enterprise as well. You get access to those as well for just $5 a month if you're a Cloudways user. Just enter your domain here and enable it. If you have lots of domains using it, 
it gets cheaper per domain. But for this video, we're really talking about the CDN because that's gonna help speed up your website. And the CDN is the content delivery network, which means that if you have your main server in New York, which is what we used in this video to create our server, but then your visitor is in Singapore and there's a server in the, in the Cloudflare CDN network in Singapore, it's gonna have a duplicate of your site on that Singapore server. And it's gonna load the content from that Singapore server instead of from New York, which makes it go faster. We spoke about Varnish earlier in conjunction with the Breeze plugin. There's also a Varnish component inside of the CloudWaves hosting. If we click into application settings, and we scroll down a bit, we see Varnish right here. And it provides several layers of caching, which speeds up your site. It's, it's proven to speed up your site. And that's enabled by default. You can also turn on Geo IP detection. If you turn this on, it will allow your site and, and the CloudWaves application to track where people are visiting your site from, where they're located in the world. And that helps Varnish configure separate caches based on location. You can also turn on device detection. This is the same idea. The device detection will configure Varnish to create separate page caches for desktop, tablet, and mobile devices to make sure that each of those devices loads as quickly as possible. All these things in combination help to make your site even faster and with only a few clicks. The other stuff that you get with Cloud for Enterprise is a lot of security and protection features with Cloudflare Enterprise, you get those as well. I have a separate video that's focused on the security of this integration. I'll link to that in the card up above and the description down below if you wanna check that out. And if you think you might wanna take advantage of the first three months at 25% off with Cloudways, make sure you go to their website before you forget. Use the coupon code WPLAB25. Put it in the order form just like you see on the screen right now and take advantage of this offer. And you can do this any time of year. Anytime you're watching this video, this coupon will be valid. If it's not, leave me a comment down below and I'll look into what happened, but it should be valid any time of the year. And next up, watch this video right up here. That's the video I just referenced about the Cloudflare Cloudways integration for security. Check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.